welcome and thank you for joining me tonight or whenever you're watching this video. I hope that you are doing well and just want to let you know this is going to be a pretty short video and kind of different than any other videos I've done. So the full release of Baldur's Gate 3 comes out in less than 24 hours and I just read that Larian is recommending that you delete your save files and uninstall your game before the final release as having the early access version on your machine could cause some issues. So, I saw someone else do this, and I thought it was a cool idea. So, I'm going to go through and delete all my save files. And, as you can see, it's been a little while since I last played these save dates. I feel like... Oh! The month and day are reversed, so this is actually May 8th. So, full disclosure, I haven't played Baldur's Gate in a while. I was really addicted to it for a couple of weeks. And then, Tears of the Kingdom came out, and that kind of took my attention away. Um, and I knew the full release was coming soon. So, I kind of wanted to save some of the magic for the full release, so I didn't have to replay as much content. But anyway, I want to since you have these little previews kind of reminisce on the save files as I delete them. As you can see, I was not very creative with the names. I forgot to change it for the first character I made. And then the second character I just called Tavi. And I don't even know where I got the name Medi, but those are my characters. As you can see, Tav did not get very far with this one. I think I realized that I didn't want that name, even though my next name was not very different. So, I just decided to remake basically the same character. But my 35-minute bard gnome, Dov, I wish you well and say goodbye. Now we have Tavi. It was basically the same character. I think, yes, it was also a gnome bard. I think I only played a bard in early access, but I made two different ones. So it looks like I was still on the ship here. Still on the ship. I don't have many saves for this one. Why are there so few saves? And then at this point, I was almost three hours in the bedchamber. I don't even really remember that, but I do remember getting into the dank crypt and exploring that, which is interesting. I remember triggering a trap and everybody dying. And then in this area, I came in and found like a little secret not, yeah, like a secret chamber, and triggered a bunch of skeletons to come back to life, which was a pretty difficult fight. But then after that, I was able to go into the chamber, and some skeleton basically raised from the dead, and I was able to talk to him. And then that's kind of where I left this playthrough. So this is actually the playthrough that you can watch on my channel. I'll be uploading the final video from this playthrough around the same time that I'm uploading this video. So, if you'd like to see that, uh, this video should be live. Um, so yes, Tavi, another gnome bard, I wish you well. Maybe I'll play another gnome bard at some point. This was fun. I liked stumbling upon that chamber. I remember I had to pass a, I think a, um, I think I had to pass some type of, uh, 
perception check to uncover it, and then luckily I had the history or something to, to trigger it, but it was cool to talk to that risen dead guy. I think I also got a necklace that granted me the ability to speak with the dead from that room. But goodbye, Tavi. I will see you in another save file. And now we have Medi, which I think I played the most of this one. As you can see by the save files, I played this one off camera. And why are there no... Uh, I wonder if I cancel and then come back. Okay. So this character... Why are there... That's weird. Okay, so up until the save file... There's no images, but I believe this was a half-elf bard that I made. I kind of went a different way. I went to the Emerald Grove earlier, and this, I don't think I went to the Dark Dank Crypt. I think it's just called the Dank Crypt. Um, but this was, this was a fun playthrough. Again, I put almost 12 hours into it. Uh, I just saw the save file here. Um, I think I was near like a goblin. The goblins had taken over a town, and there was this barn, and you could hear sounds coming from it. And I remember kind of setting up my characters for an ambush. And instead of opening the door, I had someone blow the door open. And it was like a goblin or orc male having sex with this giant ogre female thing, and I walked in on them, and I was not expecting that at all, but as you can see, that turned into a violent encounter, which I guess I don't blame them if they were having sex in the privacy of their barn, and then a group of strangers blows off the door. I can see how uh, you might spring into action, but... Yeah, unfortunately, I murdered the two lovers. I feel a little bit bad about that. Um, what else? I think this is like a goblin hideout that I went into. And I remember this guy was like really into kind of like torturing people and into pain and stuff. And I let him kind of beat the shit out of me for some reason. So that was weird. Um, I ended up, I like kind of befriended the goblins, but then one of them double-crossed me and tried to kill me. I think they put me in prison, I broke out, and then started murdering the goblins in here. I, uh, also found some pretty good gear, if I remember. Yeah, like these people are hidden out in this room. And there are a bunch of fire and explosive barrels near them. And I was kind of sneaking up in the rafters. And I don't think I had the fireball spell, but I I used some type of ignition spell and set it off and blew, blew them all up. And I think there was some good gear and a lot of gold in this room. So that was cool. I also befriended some spiders and let them run loose. And then I had just got to this back room where there's this moon, moon puzzle that I went on my Portugal trip the next day, so I was hoping to complete this when I returned, but I haven't played since I returned. But that is where I left off. Um, yeah, I remember befriending some ogres probably in here, befriending a lost dog, trying to uncover um, some secrets in the secluded chamber within the Emerald Grove. I let a goblin prisoner out. I did a lot for how early I was in it, but going through the save file is really making me excited for the full game. And I'm excited for it to come out tomorrow and to start my playthrough for this channel. So, if you haven't seen it, I uploaded two... I guess I'll start deleting these. 
I uploaded two character creation videos. Um, I made three different characters. Well, technically four. Because for one of them, I made a m male and female variant. Oh no, that's not what I meant to do. Crap. Well, anyway, I made two different character creation videos. In the first one, I make a succubus. It actually looks similar to that, except um, red. And then in the second video, I made a pirate character based on Captain Morgan. And then I made a druid, a male and female gnome druid, who will have the Dark Urge backstory. And I have a poll on my channel to vote for which character you would like me to play on the channel. And as of right now, the succubus is the clear winner, so I'm thinking that is probably main menu. I think that's the one that I'm most likely going to play, unless the poll really turns around in the next 18 hours. I also had a poll for what alignment, and evil was the overwhelming winner. So, I think I'm going to play a neutral evil character, also known as true evil, I've come to find. It's the most self-serving alignment in D&D, so as of right now, looking to play a neutral evil succubus, which will be a tiefling bard lock, so we'll probably take one to two levels of Warlock to start, and then multi-class with Bard. And yeah, I've never really done an evil playthrough in any RPG, so it'll be new for me, but I'm excited for it. Part of me kind of wants to do, like, pacifist and try to accomplish as much as I can through dialogue, like by charming and deceiving NPCs and stuff, but we'll see how that goes. So, if that sounds like something that interests you, um, please come back soon when I upload those videos. It should be fun, and I plan on doing this series for quite a while. My goal is to focus primarily on Minecraft, Tears of the Kingdom and Baldur's Gate 3 on this channel going forward. Since those seem to be the most popular games that I play. Oh yeah, this is another big ogre woman that I, I murdered. I felt kind of bad about that. I dropped that brazier or chandelier or whatever you'd call it on her. Then I still have to fight her, but... But I'll still throw in some other games aside from those three, but that's going to be my main focus for the channel. Well, goodbye, Medi. It was a good 12 hours. And uh, I'll see you in a new playthrough eventually. But there are all my save files gone. And now, after the video, I will uninstall the game. But I didn't want this to drag on for too long, so I think I'll end it here. If you enjoyed my whispering and hard candy, I would really, really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button. I'm working so hard to grow this channel, and any type of support is very much appreciated. Also, a like or a comment or anything, just watching the video to this point really means a lot to me, and I really appreciate it. But I will leave it here, and hopefully... I will see you in my playthrough videos when this full game drops. But until then, good night and...